نحمده و نسلم و نسلم و علی رسوله الكریم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوه الذین آمنوا تقوا الله و کونوا مع الصادقین صلت الله علی الرحیم و بلغنا رسوله النبی الامین المکین الكریم و نحن علی ذلك من الشاهدین و الشاکرین و الحمد بالله رب العالمین اور تیا اغن و منی بے سر و ساما مددے اللہ دی مددے تابا ایما مددے قادریم نعرائے اور تیا اغن مزنم تبز شیخ احمد رضا خان خود بعدم مزنم سیدی احمد شدی شاہ مصطفیٰ حاصل دباد مسلکی سکتار عالی علی حضرت زندہ باد تیا الہی مصطفیٰ احمد رضا حاصل دباد تبز نامو سے رسالت کا جو زندہ دار ہے سیدی امر شدیش مصطفیٰ حاضر دبار حامد فیض رضا مصطفیٰ حداد کن صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نبی نبی و علیہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یا سیدی و سنتی و حبیبی و طبیبی یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و علیہ وسلم و اصحابی کا رحمت علی العالمین اور فیض دیو فرمائی چی اللہ درود السلام و اپنی مصطفیٰ فیض دیو فرمائی چی اللہ درود السلام و اپنی مصطفیٰ فیض دیو فرمائی چی Sayyidina wa barat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His blessings and salutations upon the Anbiya Karam and the Bayt Al-Khar Sahaba Al-Karam, Khulifa Rashidin, Tabayin, 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 Ayman, Mushtahidin Awliya Al-Kamim and all those who followed the path until the last day We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to His infinite mercy and to the Wasir of the Bayt Al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for granting us the opportunity to communicate with Salat al-Jum'ah and to respect his own statutes of God. Before continuing, let us direct our hearts and our minds towards the Holy and the Sanctified Holy of the Rasul. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and in doing so, let us collectively recite the wish. Allahumma sallam ala Sayyidina wa Madiyana wa Allah Muhammadin wa ala Ali Sayyidina wa Allah Muhammadin Salatan daimatan wa bulatan tu'adhi biha anna kawla azim. Abi Sharif made a very beautiful kalam of Allah Hadar. Azim wa Barakat Imam Ahlul Sunnah Tal Shah Imam Muhammad Raza Khan. Fadli bin Ibi Radiyallahu Ta'ala. I'm going to read two shares from the Barakat also and tell you what it means briefly and then discuss whatever needs to be discussed. Allah Hadar Azim wa Barakat Imam Ahlul Sunnah Tal Shah Imam says in the Matla in the first share of that kalam which I have to read to you. کہ پھر کے گلی گلی دبا تو کریں سب کی کھائیں کیوں پھر کے گلی گلی دبا تو کریں سب کے کھائیں کیوں دل کو جو عقل دے خدا دل کو جو عقل دے خدا تیری گلی سے جائے کیوں دل کو جو عقل دے خدا تیری گلی سے جائے کیوں Why should I wander from street to street? Pirke gali gali taba. Why should I wander from street to street while being seated would utter humiliation? Pirke gali gali taba. Thokare sab ki khai kyu? Okay, so the translation I'm giving you is an explanatory translation, a metaphorical translation. Why should I wander from street to street while being treated with utter humiliation, dil ko jo aakli de khuda, teri gadi se, jaye kyo, if Almighty Allah grants wisdom to my heart, when Allah grants wisdom to my heart, why should I leave your most sacred station? What is there for me to go? What is the need for me to go anywhere else? Ya Rasulallah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pirke gali gali taba, tokare sab ke khayin kyo, dil ko jo aakli de khuda, now, shayari and poetry is something that we can be interpreted within the bari, within the, 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 the barriers of the shariat, can be interpreted in numerous different ways. Although this kalam of Allah Hadrat is about the holy city of Madinat al Munawwara and about when he is there and how it feels like when he is asked to leave Madina, etc. But Allah Hadrat Adim al Barakat, and I'm going to read another share that Avis have read to you now. Allah Hazrat Adim al-Barqad radiallahu anh says about this love of Rasulullah Paak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Jaan hai ishq e Mustafa How did he say? Jaan hai ishq e Mustafa Rose fazu kare khuda 
جان ہے عشق کے مصطفیٰ روز فضوں کرے خدا جس کو ہو درد کا مزہ ناز دوا اٹھائے گی دس از مسٹیکل شیف اٹس ویری ڈیپ اینڈ ہیز ویری ان ڈیپ میننگ بٹ آئی جسٹ ٹرانسلیٹ فور یو اوکے نو دا ٹائم ڈز ناٹ الاؤ فار می ٹو گیو یو این ان ڈیپ ایکسپلینیشن بٹ وٹ ایو آئی ایم گونا ٹرائی ٹو ڈسکس ٹو ان شاء اللہ ول میک یو انڈرسٹینڈ بیٹر جان ہے عشق مصطفیٰ جان ہے عشق مصطفیٰ دا لو آف نبی مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از ان ڈیڈ مائی سول جان ہے عشق مصطفیٰ دا لو آف نبی نبی مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از ان ڈیڈ مائی سول روز فضو کرے خدا ڈیلی آل مائی چی اللہ گرانٹ اٹ میگنیفیکیشن ڈیلی آل مائی چی اللہ گرانٹ اٹ میگنیفیکیشن جس کو ہو درد کا مزہ نازے دوا اٹھائے کیوں وائی شوڈ دا ون ہو لوز دس پین ان ادر ورڈس دا پین دیٹ یو فیلز ان دا لو آف دا نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس لانگنگ اینڈ دس یرننگ جس کو ہو درد کا مزہ نازے دوا اٹھائے کیوں وائی شوڈ دا ون ہو لوز دس پین سیک آؤٹ اینڈ ریلیف اور ڈیزائر میڈیکیشن وٹ از دا نیڈ فور اٹ بیکاز this is this person who is feeling this grief and the sadness and this longing and this yearning in the love of rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is bimari ishq e nabi he is a person that is not physically sick and his sickness is not a bad sickness his sickness is the cure of all other sicknesses his sickness is the cure for all the other sicknesses and what is this the love of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay people talk about in inverted commas being love sick you don't know the meaning of love sick people talk about being love sick people don't understand the real meaning of love sick half the people don't know the meaning of love half the people don't know the meaning of love if you want to know what is love you need to know who is oas karani radiyallahu You need to go to the feet of personalities like Hazrat Sayyiduna OS Karani radiyallahu ta'ala an The pious servants of Allah you need to go in the feet of the pious servants of Allah to understand what is love you need to go in the feet of Bayazid Bustani radiyallahu You need to go in the feet of personalities like Hazrat Sayyiduna Imam Jalaluddin Rumi radiyallahu You need to go into the feet of great personalities like Hazrat Sayyiduna Imam Al Jazuli radiyallahu ta'ala You need to go in the feet of personalities like Ala Hadrat Imam Ahle Sunnat Imam Ishq Mahabbat Radiallahu Then you will know what is the meaning of love and what is in what you call as love sick That in love to be sick Not for love to make you sick That the name in the name of love do whatever you feel like for the dunya for worldly love A real love is love for Allah and His beloved Islam. That is why Allah Hadrat Adi Mulbarakat is saying, Jaan hai ishq e mustafa. That your real soul is the love of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because that is the soul that nurtures your soul. That is the soul that nurtures your soul. Because the soul everybody has. But the real soul is the soul that has Ishq Mustafa. Yes, that is nurtured by the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala, yeah. by the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is why the person who is in this Ishq Mustafa and absorbed in it, and drowned in it, he doesn't want any cure of weight. He wants it to get more rouse of fuzu kare khuda. And he is the one who says and teaches کہ دل کو جو عقل دے خدا تیری گلی سے جائے کیوں دس ڈز ناٹ اونلی مین دیٹ ایف یو ان مدینہ دیٹ می آور ہارٹس انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ دیز نو نیڈ ٹو لیو یا ود آؤٹ نیڈ پیپل گو ٹو مدینہ شریف پر دی بزی اسپیکنگ واچنگ ٹیلی ویژن بزی ڈوئنگ آل ادر خرافات ویئر ایز ویئر دے شوڈ بی ان دربار آف دا بلو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے شوڈ بی ٹیکنگ دا بلیسنگس آف دا بلو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز مچ ایز دے کین Look, all of us say, we get to go Madinah, we get to go Madinah. Last two years, what has happened? 
Who was able to go anyway? No. Handful. Shouldn't this be a wake up for us? That when you are there, you should take the true blessings. Value every second that you have. In the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why the Sahaba Ikram, Ridwanullah ta'ala ni majma'een, when they got the opportunity to be in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then they would be in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with such adab and with such absorption and with such concentration that it has come in the hadith of Mubarakah that it was as if they were birds sitting on their heads. Just a sarpachuriya better. Huh? Like they were birds sitting on their heads. Being why, what does, why is the example given like they were birds sitting on their heads? That they would not even move a bit. They would not shuffle a bit. That was their attention. Because if you're sitting and if a bird is on your head and if you move, what will happen? So that is the example is given to show how composed they were. How composed they were in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And when you go to Madina Sharif in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you should be in the state of spiritual composure. You should be in the state of spiritual composure. Today when people enter, you see many people. The first thing they enter, they do, is they stand in front of the door and take a selfie. Is that what you went there for? People face their back to the jali of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they are busy taking pictures. Is this what you went there for? Your composure should be this much. Think of the Sahaba. That it was as if a bird was on their head. That was their composure. And what is our hal? We Don't we know that when you enter the court of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is like how you entered it in the time of the companions? Because the beloved Rasul is aware now, how he's aware then? Of your hal. He's aware of your condition at all times. Wherever you are. So what is the other when you go in the court of the beloved Rasul? This is something we need to think about. Okay? And we need to learn love from those who knew what is love. We need to learn love from those who knew what is love. Love is not just a four-letter word. Love is not just a four-letter word. Lip service is very easy. From here it is very difficult. Love is what it is there for Allah. If you say, I love then you must love everything that Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu have commanded you. You must not divert from the commands of Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu That is love. Huh? And pirke gali gali taba tokare sab ki Why should I go from street to street? Why must I be humiliated everywhere? Dil ko jaakle de khuda teri gali se jai kyu? It does not mean those that are in Madina Sharif. It means that don't leave the court of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Meaning that whatever the Nabi told you to do, wherever you are, attach yourself to the commands of the Nabi. Don't leave that. Don't leave that. Tere gali se jayekyu. Don't leave his Mubarak station. Don't leave his Mubarak court. Whenever you do something, go back and understand what did my Nabi say about this. What did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say about this? And today people want to ask, why are you traveling so far to go see one budurg? Why are you flying from one corner of the world to the other corner to see your murshid kamil? Why are you rushing to go and meet one wali Allah? Dil ko de khuda tere gali se Why must we leave the way of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa What are you talking about? He's going to ask me, what are you talking about? Let me give you a short narration today, a long narration rather, but the gist of a narration, for you to understand what I'm talking about. That even to go in the court of the pious is by the blessed Zuban of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is what our Nabi taught us. It is what our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. There is a personality, there is a blessed personality who is known as Uwais ibn Amir Qarani. Uwais ibn Amir Qarani radiallahu ta'ala an. And he is that blessed personality. He is that blessed personality concerning whom it has come by the great scholars of Islam. And the Sahaba Ikram have narrated. Hadrat Mawla Ali radiallahu himself said that Aqa Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Khairu tabi'in Uwais. 
The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa the best amongst the tabi'in, is Uwais Akarni radiallahu anhu. But there is a riwayat that says that the most uh, exalted amongst the tabi'in is Hazrat Sayyidina Sayyid ibn Musayyib radiallahu ta'ala. The tabi'in is Hazrat Uwais Sayyidina Sayyid ibn Musayyib radiallahu anhu. But there is a difference of understanding. They both are right. Well, both the words were said by the Nabi. Sayyid ibn Musayyib was afzal because of his knowledge of the Sharia amongst the tabi'in. And Hadrat Uwais Karni is afzal in the Khayr tabi'in because of his in-depth spiritual knowledge of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his maqam and his fazilat in ishqa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay? Uwais Karni radiallahu Let me tell you about him quickly today. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa said that verily the best of the tabi'in is a man whose name will be Oais. Verily the best among the tabi'in is a man whose name is Oais. And he will have a certain sign of some whiteness. He'll have a certain sign of some whiteness on a certain portion of his body. On a certain portion of his body. And when you meet him, who did the Nabi say this to? Who did the Nabi say this to? To Umar Farooq. <laughs> to Ali Amrtaza, radiallahu anhu, to the Sahaba Ikram. He said, if you meet him, if you meet him, ask him to make dua and maghfirat for you. Ask him to make dua and maghfirat for you. He is not a Sahabi. He is not a Sahabi. But the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa is saying to them, if you meet him, there is a man by the name of Owais. This is his feature, that he has some whiteness on a certain portion of his body. If you meet him, ask him to make dua al-maghfirat for you. When the Nabi says, if, it's definite. Why did the Nabi tell them that? Why did the Nabi tell them that? Because the Nabi knew that they will meet him. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi knew that they will meet him. And look at the shan of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For those who, those who even quote this, and still say the Nabi doesn't have ilm al Did the Nabi physically meet Uwais Karni? No. Physically? No. Did he come to the court of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? But the Nabi said there is a person that will be coming, that will, that will be by the name Uwais. He has a whiteness on a certain part of his body. How does the Nabi know that? How does the Nabi know that? Or koi ghayb kya tum se niha ho? Jab na khuda hi chupa tum pe karo ro. How does he know that? The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is foretelling. But he's telling the sahaba that if you meet this man, if you meet this man, you must ask him to make dua maghfirat. So in other words, what the Nabi is saying? That if you hear about him, go and look for him, go meet him. Sahaba are being told that if you find this man, go for him, meet him, take his dua. So is the Nabi not commanding and teaching that travel to meet the pious servants of Allah? Go towards the pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek their blessings. Regarding this, oh, this, this, this about Hadrat Sayyidina Uwais Karni radiallahu anh, there are numerous riwayats. But Hadrat Sayyidina Mullah Ali Kari radiallahu anh, stated that it's also reported that the signs of whiteness Leprosy when he was, was on his body. He had a lot of leprosy, whiteness, dikudam. And he made dua in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He made dua in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him shifa. Allah ta'ala granted him shifa, except for one spot that some rewrite say equivalent to a dirham or dinar. No say dirham. Was left. Everything was cured. Allah gave him Shifai Kamila, except for one spot. Allah and His Rasul know best. But one spot was left because my Nabi was going to say, Look for always to that one spot. One spot was left. Allah gave him Shifa, but left the spot because the Nabi was going to show the sign of Uwais Karni. Allah's Nabi was going to tell his Sahaba the sign of Uwais Karni radiallahu anh. It was said about him. Do you know what he got this maqam from? Do you know how Uwais became Uwais? One is his love for his Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Indeed. But he said, it is said about him, Mullah Likari Radiyam says, it was said about him that he would treat his mother very kindly and with love. <laughs> Lesson to all of us. What is the value of your parents today? Who cares? Who cares? 
Where is the Karni radiallahu got this maqam because of Ishqa Rasul? Yes. He is found in the court of Allah. Yes. But the means to that was a pious mother. Wow. An elderly mother who he cared for. Yeah. It is Sayyidina Mullah Ali Kari himself says that he said about him that he would treat his mother very kindly and with immense love. He was amongst those people whose dua would be accepted. He was mustajabu da'wah. When he made dua, it would be accepted. And when it would be accepted, immediately. Such was his dua. Such was his dua of Waisa Karni radiallahu ta'ala an. If he took a qasam, it has been mentioned that if he took a qasam in the court of Allah while making a dua, Allah would fulfill his qasam. Waisa Karni. Maaki dua ki barakat. The blessings of the dua of the mother. If he took a qasam in the court of Allah, can you understand what is his maqam? Allah. That when Uwais takes a qasam in the court of Allah, then Allah fulfills his qasam. Allah. And what about when the master of Uwais takes a qasam in the court of Allah? Allah. Allah. What if Muhammad Rasulullah takes a qasam in the court of Allah? Allah. Allah. Eh, then what happens? Ijabat ka sehra, inayat ka jora, dulhan ban ki nikli duaye Muhammad. Ijabat ne jhuk kar, gale se lagaya, badhi naaz se jab duaye Muhammad. This is the shan of the ghulam of Rasul Ipaq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is the shan of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? So when he used to make duaye, it used to be accepted. He gives a qasam, Allah will fulfill this. And the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, these words of Azmul Laqari, Allah Likari, are from that which has been explained by the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that when you get to meet him, the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when you get to ma- meet him, ask him to make dua and maghfirat dua of forgiveness for you. Allah. Now there is a hadith from Hadith Umar radiallahu anh. Very quickly I'm going to tell you. There is a hadith from Hadith Umar radiallahu anh. That Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that a person by the name of Uwais ibn Amir from Yemen will come to you. Who will be from Karan? He will be from Karan. He had patches of leprosy on his entire body. He made dua in the court of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleared his body and only one patch was left, equivalent to a dirham. Only part, one patch was left. Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, then said, he has a mother who he treats very kindly. And it's and in, and in such that if he gives a qasam in the court of Allah, Allah fulfills his custom and it is possible for you. And if it is possible for you, Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if it is possible for you to request him to make dua and maghfirat for you, then go to him. Go to him. Go to him and ask him to make dua for you. Now, because Hazrat Umar heard this hadith, because Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu heard this hadith, he knew for sure that that person is going to come. We will find because the Nabi said if you meet him, there's no if. Ask him to make dua if you meet him. No, the Nabi is telling us you will meet him, ask him to make dua. So Hadrat Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu had heard this hadith and Hadrat Mullah Ali Kali radiallahu anhu says that during the time of the Khilafah of Hadrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, when the caravans would come from Yemen to the holy haram, to the holy cities, Hadrat Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu an would say to them, is there someone from amongst you by the name Oyes ibn Amir? He used to go and look. Doon rahe te. Pir ke gali gali taba thokare sab ki khaye ki. Dil ko jo akle dea khuda teri gali se jaye ki. Why should we leave what the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said? Sahaba are teaching us how to follow. Sahaba Ikram are teaching us how to follow. We used to go on asking. Then the one year came. Was the year that which Hazrat Umar Farooq was going to make parda. Which he was going to leave this dunya. In that year, at the time of Hajj, when the Hajjis came, Hazrat Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu went and stood on where? Jabli Abu Qubayas. Stood on the mountain of Abu Qubayas. And Hazrat Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu said, Oh Hajjis, who are, from, who are from amongst you, especially those from Yemen, is there a person by the name of Oes amongst you? Is there somebody amongst you by the name of Oes? Hazrat Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu said, Is there somebody amongst you by the name of Oes? So from them, one old person woke up, one elderly person. He woke up. He had a long beard, elderly person. He woke up and he said that we do not know of any OS. We do not know of any OS. But he said, I have one nephew. I have one nephew whose name is OS. Like that, we don't know of any OS who you're asking about. But like that, I have one nephew whose name is Wes. 
But he's a completely unknown person. He's a completely unknown person. And he's not only, and he's not of such a status that we can tell you about him. He's not of such a status that we can bring him before you, oh Khalifa al he's, he's, he's a not known, you know, he's not a famous man. He's just one of the people. We know that ways, but when you're asking about somebody, then you must be asking about somebody very great. But, oh, Khalifa al Muslimin, we don't know anybody like this. He is not of such a status. He grazes camels. He grazes camels and is regarded as a fakir. That's, that's my, my nephew is like that, but I don't know who else you're talking about. Hadrul Umar Farooq said, Where's your nephew? Allah, Allah, Allah. Look at his farasat. Where is your nephew? Allah. He said he's opposite Arafat. At the moment he's come with his opposite Arafat, he's grazing the camels. Allah. Hazrat Umar radiallahu anh, took Mawla Ali with him and they rode towards Arafat, rushed Allah. towards Arafat. Allah. On reaching there, they found him standing in namaz and the camels are grazing around him. Allah. Allah. Huh? He's reading namaz and the camels were grazing around him. When he completed, both of them made salam to him. Allah. Both of them made salam to him. I'm going to take five minutes extra of your time today. But let me finish it, otherwise it will go for next week. Both of them made salam to him after he finished his salam. They made salam to him, he responded to their salam. He gave the answer to their salam. And after giving answer to the salam, they asked him who he was. Asked him, who are you? Tell us your name. He said, I am Abdullah. Allah. I am Allah's servant. Allah. Allah. Look at how they hide the reality. Allah. He said, I am Allah's Allah. servant. They said to him, we know that all those in the skies and the earth are Allah's servants. Allah. They are all Allah's creation. Allah. We know this very well. So say, they said to him, what is the name by which your mother gave, had called you? Allah. Tell us the name which your mother had given you. Allah. Tell us the name. He responded by saying, Oh people, what do you want? Allah. What do you want from me? What do you want? What is your maqsad? What is your objective? They said, Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alaihi Wasallam had described somebody by the name of Awais Karni to us. That he has informed us that beneath the shoulder of his left arm, he has a patch. He has a white patch. Tell us, do you possess that sign? Allah. Open. Open your kameez. Tell us if you possess that sign. So he revealed his shoulder. And they found that whiteness equivalent to a dirham. They found that whiteness equivalent to a dirham. What did Umar Farooq do? What did Mawla Ali Sher Khuda do? They rushed towards him and they started to kiss him. Umar Farooq ka tariqa. Style and the way of Ali Murtaza radiallahu anh. They rushed towards him and they started to kiss him. And they said, we bear testimony that you are always a karni. You are always a karni. So always make dua maqfirat for us. Make dua maqfirat. He said, I make dua maqfirat when I make dua maqfirat and istighfar. I do not do so for myself or anybody in particular. I include the entire ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I include, this was his humility, this was his just. I include the entire ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He then spoke to them and he said, he said, Allah has unveiled my secret in front of you today. Allah has opened my secret in front of you today. Now you tell me who are you? Now you tell me who are you? So Hadrat Ali Murtaza Radilan said, This is Khalifatul Muslimi. <laughs> this is Umar Farooq. And I am Ali ibn Abi Talib. He got up because he had seated there. He got up and he went and rushed towards them. So to wake up for the beloveds is the way of the beloveds of Allah. <laughs> eh? Isn't it? Yes, I'm always a Sikh. Tere gali se jai. Hadrat Awais se karni radhi Hazrat Umar Farooq and then said to him, Stay right here, don't move. Let me go back to Makkah. I'm going to bring money. I'm going to bring good clothing. And I want to give you. He said, Amir al-Mu'mineen, what will I do with your money and the clothes? What will I do with the money and your clothes? Are you not seeing that I have on my body a sheet and I'm wearing one tahban? I have one sheet and I'm wearing one lungi, one waist cloth and one sheet which was made of wool. He said, this is sufficient for me. I don't know when this is going to perish. I have no need for anything else. Now, while I'm on this topic, very quickly... 
sheet covering like a haram. Wool. You know in Arabic what we call wool? Suf. What do we call it? Suf. One who dresses in the clothes of Sufis, a Sufi. One meaning of a Sufi. Now you know when the true Sufi where line went to. He was dressed in that garb. And then he said to him, No, I don't need any of this. I have no need. He said, I earned four dirhams by grazing camels. He said, I don't know when this is going to get finished. I don't know when I'm when this is going to finish. Then he looked at Amir Mu'minin. Now look at his ferasat. He looked at Amir Mu'minin. This was the year that Hazrat Umar Farooq was about to pass away. He looked at Amir Mu'minin. Before his shahadat, he looked at Amir al-Mu'mineen and he said, Oh Amir al-Mu'mineen, before you is a very difficult and a rough terrain valley. Before you is a very difficult and a rough terrain valley. And only him who is swift will pass through. Only him who is swift will pass through. And the one who has minimum bare necessities. The one who has the least things to carry will pass through. He was giving a spiritual discussion to Omar Farooq and to all of us. He was giving a spiritual discussion. He said, keep in your position as little as possible the entities and belongings of this dunya. Who he said to Umar Farooq. Why was he saying this? Because he knew this is the year Umar Farooq is going to leave the dunya. When Hadrat Umar Farooq heard this, he took his whip and he struck it on the ground. He took his whip and he struck it on the ground. And he said, oh how I wish my mother had not given birth to me. Understand this. Understand this. It's a long discussion, but understand, and I'm going to end at this. For you to understand and us to understand who are these truly pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directed the sahaba, go to them. Why was this? So it became a lesson for you and I. That when you hear that Allah's mahbub banda is somewhere where you can get to him, get to him and go and take his blessings. Take his dua. If you can't get to him physically in your physical state, then go to the mazarat of the awliya. Go to Ghawse Aza. Go to Khaja Karim Nawaz. Because this is the thing that has been commanded from the court of the beloved Rasul. So learn from this. Learn from the pious. Learn how they respected each other. Learn the love that they taught. And learn the true meaning of love. If you want to learn love, you learn from OSA Karni You learn from the Sahaba Ikram. You learn other, you learn from these beloved companions. May Allah give us the tawfiq to understand this. Allah keep us with Iman. Let us leave the world with Iman. Those who are ill and are coming to Allah grant them shifa. Kami Rasayat Ajil. Special dua for Sister Isa who has not been well. Her mother told me before uh, Juma to say that she's unwell. May Allah grant her the Sadqa of Rasulullah Paksa from Shifai Kamila, Sayyid Ajila. And whatever the doctors are saying, may they be wrong and may she become well and completely well, inshallah. And all the others that are ill, whether with COVID or whatever else, may Allah grant them Shifai Kamila Ajila. And those that are well, may Allah protect the rest of them. And we make special dua that all those that have passed away in Ahl Sunnah, Allah exalt them in Jannah. For those, those that are going through any difficulty and calamity in their life, Allah remove the difficulty and the calamity from their lives. Wa barakatuh.